Okay, I like the time lapse a lot, but it uh, it's kind of difficult to see what I was doing. Um, I was laying in drops of color. First I laid in the green here, and then I laid in just water, just drops of water. And then I, uh, I put in drops of yellow, just a little, little dots of yellow, and then little dots of darker color. And the darker color is already fused back, you know, blended. And then up here, I mostly just wanted the dark values to kind of push it, push it back um, away from these brighter values. And then I also used a little bit of salt in here. I don't know if you can, you can see that a little bit of texture um, from the salt, just kind of adds interest. And um, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, start painting the the little stone walkway, and um, I might do a time lapse um, for the next painting. I can't. I wish I could mix them. I don't quite know how to do that while I'm while I'm making the video. I'm sure there's apps I can purchase, but I don't plan on doing this as a profession. So um, I'm going to just kind of lay in a little bit of neutral value on these stones and I'll probably do a few different layers in here um, and then I'm going to um, have like a little bit of a darker almost grout probably dirt um, that's in between the stones um, and I don't quite want to blend them throughout the whole stone. I want it to have a little bit of uh, variation. And as the stones kind of go further into the distance, they'll get a little bit lighter. Now, if I wanted some texture in these stones, I could add salt to them, but you can see the second layer right there is already um, a little darker value. And it was a little drier than, than this one right here. And they don't have to all be the exact same combination of colors because they're natural stone, so they're going to look a little different. Might even drop a little bit, bit of that dark purple that I... And you don't even have to blend it in because it'll just keep bleeding um, and it will blend itself in. I'm also going to add more shadows on the ground after I get these stones painted in here. Okay, now I'm just going to take a wet brush and just kind of fill in that whole stone shape. So the outer portion will be a little bit lighter. Again, there, there's no need to be perfect um, the stones. The stone walkway wasn't perfect. We want it to look like it's laying flat, so you don't want to have any like round stones. We also want them to look like they're moving away. In perspective and I pre-mixed a, a few of these colors on my palettes that's what I'm that's what I keep going back to but they're starting to kind of run thin I get a little bit uh, diluted so I got to get a little more brown here a little more burnt sienna add that to it makes it kind of pop. Okay. Um, that's probably as far as I'm going to take this. I'm going to stop the video in just a minute. I'm going to see if it'll let me kind of start to put in that grout because I don't want to have to like keep revisiting this. I want to kind of, you know, move on um, to show some wet on wet techniques and some kind of layering. I don't want to get too long with this video either because it's taking forever for YouTube to upload. 
And then I might have to wait for this to dry, but I am going to go in here and just kind of put some green grass. It's hard for me to even see what, what I'm doing here at times. Um, okay, um, I do want to get a chance to remove that. I'm not quite sure this is completely dry yet. No, it's not. So I don't want to remove it. Um, I know this is dry, so I'll, I'll just kind of start to remove this. Now it's, remember, it's going to remove that pencil line. So I'm not, I don't care. I'm not worried about that. I just gave that to myself as a little bit of a guideline. This is how I remove it. And I'm, um, if you can just start to pull it, if you've done it thick enough, that should work. I don't think mine is thick enough. Mine is pretty thin application. Um, but you can see how that comes off. And you can even use what you already pulled off to kind of help you pull the rest off. Because it'll stick to it. See how it gives kind of a crisp edge. Um, and the reason why as I'm um, removing, I'm going out is just in case there was a little bit of paint on top. Now that's a little bit of paint that seeped through. That's fine. I can always just kind of make that into a, a leaf or an ivy. I'm going to go in here with shadows. Um, just light, like just very light bluish gray shadows and uh, just clean things up a little bit. Um, you can get pretty uh, detailed with this liquid mask it. Um, it just depends on how much time you wanna take. You don't wanna spend too much time unless it's really necessary to do that. And in this case it wasn't because I knew I could always go back in and uh, clean things up. Now I wanna be careful I don't get too close to that ground area where I just got done painting. Um, or into the background where I just got done painting. But this is pretty much what it's gonna look like. You can see how it does remove the pencil. Just a faint bit of pencil. There's enough there to use as a guide. So that's fine with me. Um, I can see where the dimension of the fence is. So I can, um, I'm gonna have this part in shadow and then a little bit of a highlight on that side. Just a little bit more there. You want to make sure that you do remove all of the liquid mask it because you hate to spend time painting on something and then realize you're just painting on top of mask it. Um, you can see little areas where it seeped. That's fine. There's always a little bit of cleanup. And uh, I think that's... I'm going to end the video now um, so it doesn't get too long.